friends my name is holly and welcome back to my channel today's video i'm going to be sharing with y'all kind of my little morning routine and then also an update in the cottage garden so i like to have a full glass of water with electrolytes in them these are the prenatal vitamins i've been taking and then i love taking this because my hips have been so uncomfortable ever since pretty much i got pregnant and this has collagen in it and so i love this vitamin so i, I make sure to take these three vitamins for sure every day i add more to them but these three are for sure every day Just about every morning, I love making me some peanut butter toast and adding some jam. And this is actually some jam from one of you that I met at Petals from the Past. And y'all gifted this one to me and the apple butter. And they are so good on my toast. So thank you so much for that sweet and thoughtful gift. <music> A chance i love to come out here on our back patio it's shaded we have ceiling fans so it's cool and breezy and i love just enjoying our food on this back patio just being outside so i've set a new goal for myself to try to drink a full glass of water with these electrolytes in them before i do anything else and it has helped me stay hydrated so much and then i'll refill the stanley and try to drink at least two or three of these a day and i wanted to share with you all my little devotion that a sweet friend of mine from classy touch gifted me and this is a devotion for expecting moms but i think any mom would enjoy this so i have loved just having some time and reading this out loud so baby boy can hear me and this has just been a sweet time together with god i've actually enjoyed this devotion so much and so i'm going to link their little shop they're actually local to me and i'm going to link it down below in case you're interested in purchasing one for yourself or for a friend so before we go out in the garden today, I wanted to share with y'all some sunglasses. So I had this company, they're actually called Sojo's, and they reached out to me and wanted to know if I wanted to work with them. I looked online on their website to see what they had, what kind of sunglasses they had, and if there was any that was my style. There was so many on there. It took me actually a few days to pick out which ones that I wanted because they just had so many options at such great affordable prices. And so I'm not gonna lie, whenever I was looking at them, I was like, these are too cute. They look like designer sunglasses at a really good price. And I was just like, I wonder what these are gonna be like whenever they come in, like the quality of them. I picked out the ones that I wanted. I picked out four. They sent them to me and whenever I opened them up, I was like, these are really good quality. So this is the first pair that I picked out. I was trying to get them all to be a little bit different, different styles and different colors. And I thought that this pair was gonna be my least favorite, but I do love them. And what I love about them is that they don't have the like little nose metal pieces. So I can wear these out in the garden easily and throw them on top of my head or at the beach or at the pool and they don't get snagged in my hair because I hate it whenever sunglasses do that. And I actually love the way that these look. I believe this is the very first pair that I picked out. I loved these so much. They are so pretty. They look designer. I love, love, love them. These are polarized sunglasses. And so this is, like I said, I think my favorite pair that I picked out that I'll be wearing all the time. Next pair that I grabbed were these black ones. Again, all of these come in different colors as well, but I loved how these look. They don't have the nose pieces that will snag your hair. Love how they have the gold arms that go around your ears. I just think that these are so pretty. So I grabbed these. I could wear these out in the garden too if I wanted to. Um, or at the pool. Usually if I'm doing something like active, I like to wear these kind of sunglasses where again, I can easily throw them on top of my head. This last pair I really, really love too. And I love how all of these 
actually fit my face. Love these little aviator style sunglasses. It's like a bright, beautiful, sunshiny day, and it really does help um, with the glare of the sun. So I am so excited to be sharing these with y'all, especially since summertime is here. So if you need a pair of sunglasses, definitely go check them out. I'm going to put their link in the description box down below, and I also have a promo code for you guys. Let me know in the comments down below which pair is your favorite. I also wanted to mention that Sojo's is running a June prescription campaign that offers 20% off of eyeglass lenses and 15% off of sunglass lenses. Thank you again Sojo's for sponsoring today's video. Y'all be sure to go check out their website and check out the awesome deals on these sunglasses for the summer. Don't forget to grab yourself a pair and let me know which one is your favorite. We are going to take a walk in the cottage garden and see everything that we have planted and that's in bloom. So this is coming off of our front porch. If you remembered in one of my last videos, we put these stepping stones down and they are going to help guide our way off the front porch into the cottage garden. We're still working out here, but it's came a very long way and it's looking really pretty. So back here, we planted some of these gardenias that were around our landscape and they kind of started looking bad after our really harsh winter and they're coming back beautifully so i'm hoping that this really fills in this area and they will put off a beautiful scent and then this is a vanilla strawberry hydrangea that's about to come into bloom so i'm hoping to be able to share that with y'all and definitely check me out over on Instagram because as things come into bloom, I'll be sharing them daily. And this is a California poppy. It is beautiful and this will come back every year and just get bigger and bigger. So on this side of the fence line is what I am calling my tea garden. So I have lots of medicinal plants in here that you can make herbal teas with, along with an antique rose. This one is called Penelope and she is just beautiful. We've really put everything into the ground this year, most of everything, so it's just getting established. This is actually old-fashioned heliotrope that y'all just saw me plant, and then a blue hydrangea that I hope will make it right here in this little area. It's very special to me. And then Drew planted some peppers over the weekend, and so... Um, they already have little peppers on them. These are jalapenos. We have some little cherry red tomatoes coming in. So I cannot wait to start harvesting all of this. And then we have our favorite purple Cherokee tomatoes. These are our favorite tomatoes. We love these. And here on the other side of the fence line, we have what my neighbor gave me is a purple butterfly bush. And I just planted it next to my white butterfly bush that I had. And so they're just kind of mixing and they're so beautiful and the bees and butterflies love it. And then this is an antique rose called Prosperity. <music> This is 
actually my herb garden, but I put my pumpkins from my front porch here after the fall season and they decided to grow. And so I have little pumpkins coming up and I didn't have the heart to pull them out. I cannot wait to see what they do and if we get pumpkins this year from that. So here starts the herb garden. So we have pineapple sage right here. We have winter savory right here. We have some basil. We have some thyme right here. As you can see, I got these little tags from Target last year. And I love these to kind of label the things in the garden. We have rosemary and we have parsley and dill and oregano. On this side of the fence line, I planted a eucalyptus, which this can get really big, but we're gonna keep it trimmed back so it stays like a bush. And then over here, I planted a cantaloupe since we already had a pumpkin growing over here. And I love cantaloupe, but I've never tried to grow one, so I thought that we would try it this year and see how it does. We have two antique roses I got from Petals from the Past. This is where I get all my antique roses. This one's actually called Peggy Martin, and this one is called Laughter. So I have both of these growing on each side of the entrance into our cottage garden. One of the things I am most excited about is our pear trees finally started producing pears. They have been over here for years, and I just know that since we added our little cottage garden over here beside them, that it helped to bring the bees and pollinate and make these put off beautiful pear blooms. So I cannot wait to use these in my fall cooking. And back here behind this fire pit, we also have, I can't remember if they're little lime or bow bow hydrangeas, but they are about to come and bloom and they're gonna be beautiful. This is all landscape up against the house close to the cottage garden. So we have an antique rose that's gonna bloom white and then a mixture of blushing bride hydrangeas and I cannot remember what variety of hostas these are, but put off beautiful purple blooms. You can see my hydrangeas are already getting little blooms on them. So I really hope that these continue to do well. And then each year they just get bigger and bigger. So this is our big garden. This is not my territory. This is the garden that my husband and his dad always do every year. And so they have squash in here. They have some corn and a few other things. I know green beans. I can't remember what all they put in here, but it is looking very beautiful as well. After being in the heat, we're going to use this little book and find a recipe to make from things that I have out in the cottage garden. I got this book for Christmas and I really love it. And I want to even add like some citrus trees out in the cottage garden so I can have all my little fruit that I can just go out and harvest. This is our blueberry bushes and they're not doing very well. So I want to move those into the cottage garden at some point. So we're going to collect some mint and make a little drink. Okay, friends, we are back inside and it is so hot out there. I had my hair all fixed and it just got a sweaty mess. So we're gonna make, as y'all saw, a little mojito, little mojito mocktail. I love this little book. And then also we're gonna make a pasta salad. I've shared this recipe with y'all before on my channel, but this is like something that we love to eat. So this is like our first little harvest of the year. I'm excited to like be able to get our bigger tomatoes and the bigger things from our bigger garden. But this is a start and it's gonna be perfect. So I'm actually gonna make a meatloaf this week with the peppers that we've already harvested. And then I'm gonna make that pasta salad with y'all with this huge cucumber that I harvested. I didn't know what kind it was. I forgot which one I bought. And I saw I asked on Instagram and a lot of y'all said that it was an English cucumber. Use that and then my little sun gold tomatoes to put in this pasta salad for us to kind of eat on and snack on throughout the week.
this drink actually ended up so good and so pretty. I actually had three glasses of this, so it was very refreshing. Now we're gonna slice up all of our little vegetables that we harvested and some that we had bought from the store. I decided to put some peppers in this recipe. You can put purple onions, but I have not been into purple onions being pregnant. I just don't like the taste of them right now. We're gonna add some olives, and then I like using this Olive Garden Italian dressing. You can use any dressing that you like, but we're just gonna add this in and then mix it up, and I like to top this with Parmesan cheese as we are eating it. So I hope that y'all enjoyed being in the cottage garden and these fun little recipes. Thank y'all so much for being with me today. I hope that y'all have beautiful summer days ahead, and I will see you guys in the very next one.